Simpson Show here at North Greenville University, where Christ makes the difference. Well, Coach, your Crusaders keep producing amazing results. We're approaching the end of the regular season, but now the success story is not getting you a whole lot of notoriety out there in NCAA land, is it? Well, I tell you, you know, you just continue to plug along. I think it's a part of not having a strong tradition. And a lot of programs, and I experienced it even at the high school level at Landrum, we were ranked pretty high, but it took several years to get that going. And then even if we slipped, we still stayed pretty high because of tradition. And I think that's something that we're lacking that's really keeping us from being able to make a, a big, big splash nationally as far as Division II goes. But again, it goes with the territory. Our big thing is the next game, the next pitch, focus on that. And if we do that, we'll continue to improve. And eventually, when there are very few teams left, you'll start getting noticed. And when you're 34-9 and nine, and you've won so many games in a row and you've had such success against some great teams, somebody's going to pay attention one of these days. Truthfully, I mean, there's no doubt. And I think the big thing is for us to pay attention. Pay attention to what we're doing. Pay attention to how we're preparing. Pay attention to how do we perform. And if we continue to do that, yes, we'll get some notoriety. But a big thing that we want, more than anything, just wins. And if we continue to find a way to win baseball games, that's a big key. What he wins is definitely within the, the realm of possibility. you got three it series left. One at home, that is a real possibility for you. Uh, definitely. I mean, I tell you, we've got a got a key stretch of games coming up, and again, it's just one game at a time. If we would have reached a 40-win plateau, again, that would be another milestone, I guess, another landmark for a, a baseball program. But very excited about our season, very excited about this weekend, and the series coming up at Tennessee Temple. Well, Coach, you're number five in the NCCAA once again this week. Maintain that national ranking. Starting to look ahead a little bit in a couple of weeks. We're looking at the NCCA Regional Championships. Don't know if that's set yet, but that's got to be on your on your agenda a little bit. Oh, it's been on our agenda. I tell you, from the start, we printed the shirts. It said 427, 427 miles from our stadium here and beautiful confines of here at Tigerville and Ashmore Field up to Prasco Park in Cincinnati. And we're taking that journey, 427 miles, one step at a time. That's been our focus since August. And so for us to come out and be this close here to realizing that goal uh, is pretty exciting for us. Well, you took a big step this past weekend. You took two of three from Mars Hill of the South Atlantic Conference, and then you took all five games from Bavard Conference this, uh, this year. So against the SAC, we were in there, we'd be 7-1 and one in first place. I tell you, <laughs> we played some good teams. I mean, we Bavard, Mars Hill, the SAC has a great tradition, good baseball teams. Mars Hill that we took two or three from this past weekend, including putting up 25 runs at their place in game three of the series, they're currently in second place in the SAC. And so for us to go to their, their place and beat them and compete with them the way we did, a uh, big time, uh, I guess, a uh, big landmark for our program. But also uh, beating Bavard five times, again, that was great too. Anytime we're going and competing with teams uh, from the SAC and the other conference in the area, it makes a big difference regionally. That has to be an eye-opener for teams in that conference, as well as the teams you've been competing against all year. Oh, uh, no question, no question. We hope to be. Well, Coach, uh, Dick, talking about some of your individuals, David Frazier's been swinging an awful hot bat. And I know there's a lot of other ones we've talked about in previous shows, but some of these guys continue to hit the ball hard all year long. I tell you, we've been consistent all season long. I mean, our team batting average has stayed around 350, which is phenomenal in Division II college baseball. Uh, David Frazier is really swinging the stick well. He's had not just uh, you know big a lot of hits, but he's had some big hits, key hits, clutch situations. Uh, David's a clutch player, both offensively and defensively. Uh, he's had a great, great stretch here. Dayton Lupton, he's a senior that has really, really been hot here the last couple of weeks, too. Uh, Dayton, uh, I think he just wants to finish out strong, uh, close out with a bang, as I say, and he, he really is. Yes, he's hitting the ball very well. Uh, Bubba Jaws has come on. Anthony Folk has started to really heat up here the last couple of weeks, and Anthony's a, a very versatile offensive performer. He can hit for power. He can also drop down the drag bunts, and he runs the bases well. Uh, Anthony's had a, had a great run here as well. So got a lot of guys that are stepping up offensively. Tyler Calicut starting to get back in the fold, too, with what he can do. Well, Coach, we talked about you know, Dayton Lupton being a senior. I know you honored your seniors last week. You've only had those guys for a couple of years, but they still meant an awful lot to this program, haven't they? Oh, no doubt. You know, just the two years that I've been here, those seniors have had an incredible influence, not just on our team, but on myself, personally. Uh, Rand Stegall is a senior. Obviously, he's had all the statistics and the numbers and the honors nationally, All-American, and he's been a, a great player for us, but he's been an even stronger team leader, and we're very proud of him. Dayton Lupton uh, had a phenomenal career. Dayton works very hard, been sensational as well. And Jairo Mateo, he is actually a Dominican native who uh, is English is a second language, has come here, a master 4.0 GPA through a couple of the semesters, has like a 3.8 overall. We're very proud of him, not just on the field, but also in the classroom. Proud of all of our seniors. They mean a lot to us, and we're going to miss them tremendously. Well, Coach, I, I keep talking about Drew Province, you know, about steamrolling the opponents. 
I wonder how many Division II pitchers in the country are still undefeated at this point. I tell you, you know, I don't know the numbers for sure. I looked at the latest stats over the past week, and there are some pitchers who are pitching very well. There are some talented arms across Division II baseball, but I tell you, I put Drew Province up against any of them. He's an outstanding competitor, great man, and uh, just a phenomenal player. And he's had an outstanding season, but he'll be the first to tell you that he's got good defense playing behind him. He's got some run support, and, and those things are a tribute to him being in the position he's in right now. But I tell you, he's, uh, he's had an outstanding season. We've had a few other fellas that have been, uh, had some success on the mound as well, haven't you? I tell you, we've had some guys step up. You look at just this past week, uh, Derek Fulman's been pitching really well, but we go to Bavard and Derek's bat was bothering him, so Matt Benjamin got a spot start. Found out five minutes before game time, hey, Matt, you're starting. And he stepped up, and Coach Dennis, it's a testament to him, he had Matt prepared for the situation. Matt had prepared himself as well, and uh, he goes out and has a great start, and we win the game 8-3. to three. His brother Mark pitches game two. And uh, Mark throws a complete game and win that one 8-3 to three as well. And that's the big key, particularly having played six games each week over the last couple of weeks, and we've got six next week as well, is pitching depth. We need some guys that continue to step up, give us great outings, and do it in a, in a big way. And they've been able to do that so far. One of those long series, when you play those three games, a lot of those teams run out of pitchers, and your team hasn't done that this season. Uh, that's been a key, too. I mean, pitching depth, to be able to have people come in and put out the fire, so to speak, or, or maybe even just shut down a rally. And uh, for us to be able to continue to get to their pen and, and be able to do some more things has been a big difference. Well, Coach, this is a time of the year when we sometimes find interesting ways to motivate your players. I know being a professor, i, I got a couple weeks since the finals. I'm pressing them on papers. you got to keep them focused on the baseball field. Tell you, that is, that's a big key. I mean, any athletic competitions you engage in, anything that you try to pursue in your life, there's going to be opposition, there's going to be adversity, and one of those oppositions might just be weariness, tired. And uh, for our guys, our student athletes, because they do put forth so much effort in the classroom, because you're also focused in that aspect, uh, it gets very, really draining as you go through the series and the, and the season like this. But our guys have stayed focused. I mean, they're really, first of all, self-motivated. That's a big key. And then for us, we just continue to press on the goal. And a big thing is to keep it simple as far as the next game, but also know that we got a big goal in mind as well. I think it's very similar to a Christian walk in our faith is, you know, we've got the ultimate goal and the prize of eternal life in heaven, and it's paid the way by Jesus Christ. But we know that as we go through our daily life, we, we stay in His Word, we continue to focus, we continue to study there, and uh, and stay really live a spiritual discipline. I think it's no different in a baseball field. You continue just to go daily, prepare yourself, continue to stay focused, continue to stay rested, and when you do that, uh, you'll be able to realize great things. Well, Coach, sometimes we talk a lot about baseball, but we don't really get into the, probably on my fault, we don't get into the faith issue quite a bit. I know you have a really strong influence on your players. Oh, I hope so. I mean, that's, that's the main goal, and the big thing that we stress is the most important thing in our lives is our relationship with Jesus Christ. And uh, for our players, we know that win or lose any game, we've got a victory in Jesus' name. Not that we don't suffer through difficulties, don't experience the agony of defeat, we do, but the ultimate victory was claimed by Jesus Christ. I tell my guys there's three types of victory that are important that would mean a lot. Underdog victories are fun, rival victories are fun, and comeback victories are fun. But the victory we have in Jesus Christ is a combination of all of those things. The comeback, an underdog where people didn't expect, even though he had said so, and then the rival, we won't find a more intense rivalry than Jesus Christ versus Satan, forces of good versus forces of evil. And, and what happened there was just uh, something we can celebrate every day of our lives. And that's the most important thing, and our faith is something that we hope we share with other people as we compete daily. Absolutely. I know you share it with your players, and hopefully they share it with the other teams as well. Oh, no question. No question. That's what we want to do. Uh, we've even been able to uh, influence with fans and, and even umpires. There's a story behind that one, too, that was pretty neat uh, throughout the season, and we'll have to check in maybe for another show and give you an update on what happened there. But it's just to be able to uh, live, live a life, play, compete, get after it, but do so with a focus on God and Jesus Christ and the difference he's made in your life and sharing that with other people. Well, Coach, uh, we enjoyed uh, having you on this week. And fans, if you can't catch all the action on the teams on the road, check out all the action at www.nggcrusaders.com. So, Coach Henson, wrap it up for us. I tell you, again, uh, very pleased with the guys, very proud of our guys. Hope we continue to play well here with this next couple of weeks. So our big thing is we've worked hard to put ourselves in position. But now what are we going to do here these last couple of weeks? Uh, every game is more magnified and means even more uh, when you get to this point. And hope we continue to play well, press on, and uh, continue to enjoy some success. That sounds like this is exactly what the story of North Greenville baseball is. So for Coach Travis Henson, I'm Fred Battenfield, and this is a Crusader Sports Network.